Hey, it's Paul, and here on The Friendly Viewer, we do a ton of tech reviews, so make sure to subscribe so you can watch more videos just like this one. Now recently, ZMI reached out to me and sent me their 45 watt USB-C PD wall charger. Now a ton of products that we review on this channel could use this one, so I'm interested to take a look. Before we begin, check out the description below so you can find a link so you can get one of these for yourself. Now let's get in the review. This is the ZMI PowerPlug Turbo 45W USB-C PD wall charger. It comes in simple packaging. Inside you'll find the power adapter, complete with a USB-C port and foldable outlet prongs. Also you'll find a USB-C cable and the instruction manual. The power brick is approximately a two and a quarter inch square and one and an eighth inch thick. It comes in a glossy white finish and has rounded edges around the sides. Accepting 100 to 240 volts, it works in most countries which can be handy if you travel often. Most of the latest devices have either PD or QC quick charging and it supports both. The USB-C cable appears to be of high quality and is approximately five feet in length. When plugging the cable into the power adapter, you'll notice a nice, secure, crisp fit. We'll test out this 45 watt wall charger on the two extremes of the iPhone 10 and the 15 inch MacBook Pro. First up is the iPhone 10 on the low end, where we'll see if it can fast charge the iPhone 10 and compare it to an array of Apple chargers. Keep in mind that you'll need a USB-C to lightning cable if you want to use this to charge your iPhone or iPad. Here's a plot of the ZMI 45 watt adapter charging the iPhone 10 while it's in airplane mode sitting on my desk. You'll notice that it has an interesting little change at 75%. To see if that was just an anomaly, I tested it three more times and it did the same thing each time. Let's put that off to the side and we'll get back to it in just a second. The iPhone 10 supports fast charging, which brings it up to a 50% charge in 30 minutes. As you can see, the ZMI power adapter does just this, bringing the phone from a 10% charge to a 60% charge right at 30 minutes. For a full charge, we'll compare it against the Apple 5, 10, 12, and massive 87 watt power adapter. This is just a side note, but the older Apple 10 watt and the newer Apple 12 watt adapters seem to physically look the same, and the test results were the same as well. As you can see, the ZMI 45 watt adapter aligns pretty well to the 87 watt adapter, and the charging time varied by less than 5 minutes, which is really within the noise of the test. If you only have the standard 5 watt adapter that the iPhone 10 comes with, this could be handy as it's going to take a full hour off your charging time. Zeroing in on the 87 watt adapter, we can see why there may be a funny little bump with the 45 watt adapter right at the 75% mark. It charges pretty linear all the way up to 75% and then starts to slow down, which could be the cause of this. Last, we're going to test out the 45 watt adapter on the high-end MacBook Pro. For this test, we'll compare it to the much larger 87 watt adapter that it comes with while the computer is being lightly used to surf the internet. As you can see from the plot, it takes around two hours for a complete charge, starting from 10%, which is approximately 30 minutes longer than using the 87 watt adapter. This test really uses all 45 watts of the adapter and is well within reason. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the results. This thing's gonna be able to do the quick charge with my iPhone 10. It's gonna be able to power up and charge my MacBook Pro, and it's also gonna work with a ton of other devices. So this has been Paul with a ZMI 45 watt USB-C PD wall charger. Thank you for watching.